Hello, this is Stella Hansen here and today I want to talk about the powers, the faculties that you have, the powers of your mind. And one of them is our memory. Every person has a perfect memory. And some of us, they're saying like, oh, I have a bad memory and so and so on, but our memory is perfect. The problem that we have is that sometimes we do not memorize. It's not that we are forgetting, it's that we are not memorizing. And how does all this work? It seems that our memory memorizes everything that is extraordinary, impossible, strange, like all these all this type of things. Uh, and we can use this capability of ours in order to memorize the things we want. Let's suppose that we want to go to a shop and buy five things. I'll make an exercise with five things, but you can make a longer exercise. So let's suppose we will go to the shop and we want to buy avocado, we want to buy banana, ban bananas, and we want to buy fish, uh, soap, and tomatoes. And on the, our way back home, we want to take some cloths from uh, the washing machines and so on. Now, let's make the exercise in order to memorize these things immediately. As mentioned, our memory memorizes all the strange things. So let's use our imagination to imagine these things in a strange way. Suppose that we go in the shop and instead of the shop, we imagine a huge avocado. So the shop is an avocado. We open the door and from that door are flying bananas. It's like, like uh, mouses. How do you call this mouses that are flying? So let's imagine that bananas are coming out and the shop is stinking. And it is stinking because instead of people, we see huge fish uh, of the dimension of uh, people that are going in the shop and they stink. And after this, this uh, fish, there are huge soaps that are running in order to wash the fish, so the fish wouldn't be stinky. Now the fish is very creative, so it takes some tomatoes and it starts using the tomatoes, smashes tomatoes on them in order not to stink so much. And as we need to buy all these things, uh, we ourselves get some tomato spots. So we need on our way back home, we need to stop at a laundry and leave our clothes and wash our clothes. Now, I imagine that you remember that story from the first time. It was uh, an avocado shop, the bananas were flying out of the doors. Inside, instead of people, there were stinky fish and uh, there were huge soaps running after the fish to wash the fish and the fish was using tomatoes in water to, yeah, to, to change the, the smell and so on. We had tomatoes on our clothes so we need to uh, go to the laundry after the shopping. Now this was an incredible exercise, a fun exercise actually, that helped us memorize the, thing, the five things that we needed uh, from the supermarket. The, the funny thing is that you remember these five things as long as you want, because you'll remember the story as long as you want. And once you don't want it, you can yeah, just leave it alone and uh, invent another story for another list. And you can do it with as huge list as you want. Once you train it, you'll be very, very good at it. So this is one of the capabilities that we have. And if you are interested in aromatherapy, so there are two oils that are waking up our memory and mind capabilities. And the wonderful oils would be sweet basil oil and rosemary oil. They are both of them, they are like very active for our mind. Yes, this was the exercise I wanted to share with you today and I'm looking forward to our next video. Maybe we'll talk about memorizing faces and names, but um, yeah, just look here, invite your friends. I'll be very happy if there are several that can use these techniques that we are using 
and you may have an absolutely wonderful day bye <laughs>